Good morning, my friends. It's Wednesday, November 16th, and I'm here with you at the Rising of the Sun. My cat is still outside. She's been out all night. And I have with me this beautiful Pacific Wave picture by Doug Eng. It's fascinating that the pulse of a wave moves through the waters. And then when it hits the shore, it changes entirely. It becomes these white foam running in all different directions. A crash between water and land. conflict that produces a new thing, different behaviors, loud sounds if the weather is big like this big wave. A connection. We continue this morning in the brilliant and powerful epistle of James, the brother of Jesus. James says something just brilliant here. Those conflicts and disputes among you, where do they come from, he writes. Do they not come from your cravings that are at war within you? The conflicts all around us, and sometimes I feel like I'm surrounded by them. They are manifestations of the war within us, that we still want the world to work a certain way. We are still attached. We still have what James calls cravings. What he's trying to drive at here is that the person who is at peace is detached from the results of this world. We serve God. We try to build the kingdom, but at the same time, we understand that it's merely our job to do what we're called to do, but the rest is up to God. We surrender. We give ourselves over with no attachment to the results. No attachment to who wins the election or who wins the argument or who earns money here or who succeeds in doing a project. We do our best, our very best, but then we let go. Let the world manifest itself as it is, knowing that this is temporary. We're designed for heaven. We're servants of the king. We're here to do our part, but without craving, attachment, trying to fix everything. That is what generates our unhappiness. It's not the conflict around us as much as it is the conflict within. We could be standing in the midst of a great storm and feeling great peace if we're at peace with God. Because our relationship with God is not dependent on the circumstances of our lives. Unless we let it be. So free yourself from attachment to results, and therein lies a path to serenity. Let us pray. Almighty God, we thank you for this new day, for a chance to start anew, to serve you, with commitment and passion, and yet to let go of all results, all our need to be right, to be loved, to be successful. Help us let go of it all so that we may be free, free to belong to you and you alone. 
and so that we may be at peace within ourselves. Help us to put to sleep the cravings within us that long for results or fixed relationships and help us set our minds on you alone. Lord, we ask you to bless the sick today, to bless those who mourn, to bless those who are dying, those who are hungry or lonely or afraid, those who battle addic addiction and mental illness, those who find themselves lost or afraid. We ask you to bring peace to this world. We ask you to help us honor and cherish this planet. And we ask you to guide us this day, Lord. Give us those things that we ought to do and help us understand those things that are not ours to do. Help us to live according to your will and not our own. This we pray in the name of Jesus, your son, who loved us and gave himself for us in service to you. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day.